Welcome back guys. Uh, today I thought I'd review with you the top 15 things that I do once I finish a plain vanilla arch install. Now this would be relevant whether I did a arch from scratch install step by step and I have a video on that uh, where you can install arch from scratch and there are some f uh, notes th uh, that you can print out and follow along it makes it a lot easier but it is a little bit more difficult and so if I have done a, an arch from scratch install plain vanilla arch or whether or not I have installed it using an installer uh, you can use an installer like the one I use normally is Feliz but uh, you can use arch anywhere or you can use architect which I believe is still functional even though it's uh, been abandoned um, but it still functions you can download that uh, again the one I use lately is Feliz it's very intuitive it's very easy to follow and once you finish that you end up with a plain vanilla arch install now this is a plain vanilla arch install that you're looking at however I have tweaked it um, and added all of the various utilities and programs that I normally add uh, to get it the way that I want it to run on a daily basis. Um, <clears throat> this happens to be the XFCE desktop. Got the whisker menu. I've installed Infinality fonts. I'm not going to cover Infinality fonts today, um, and I, I'm not going to cover gaming today. I'll do that those in a separate video. But um, let's go through the top 15 things that I do, uh, even before I do any theming. This is right off the bat. As soon as you boot into your fresh install, uh, these are the things that I do. First thing I do is add myself to the Sudowars file. Now I'm going to uh, make this the all these notes available to you. There'll be a link to my GitHub site where you can download this list and print it out and use it. Um, so let's go through step by step and I don't want to make this video too long so we're gonna move it at a, a comfortable pace and uh, if you need to pause the video then you can do that as you follow along so I'm gonna add myself to my sudoers file sign in as root open the sudoers file I use leafpad and then you'll uh, add your sudoers add yourself to the sudoers uh, file in the same format as the file so I'm, I'm gonna open that up quickly and if you scroll down to the sudoers section you can see I've added myself normally it would cut off right about here um, so you just add your username and then this same format and then save the file that will add that user to the sudoers group and give them pseudo permissions so I'm going to close that out once that's done uh, install the GK sudo command which is a graphical front end for the SU command and once you install that then you can use the GK sudo command let me go ahead and save that okay so then we're gonna sync our fastest mirrors so we're gonna add the reflector application sudo pacman s reflector you can copy and paste these commands in so I've got three sample commands one would verbosely rate and sort the five most recent recently synchronized mirrors by download speed and overwrite the file the mirror list file so you you would just copy and paste that into your terminal and it would have the desired result now I've got two other examples here the next one sorts the 200 most recently synchronized HTTP or HTTPS mirrors sorts them by download speed and overwrites the file again you would just copy and paste this command and the last one um, is basically just the United States mirrors and you would copy and paste that in once you finish that you're gonna update your arch install sudo pacman-syu this is the command the way it's 
uh, listed in the Arch Wiki. That's the recommended update command. You can change that. It's you can add dash s y y u. There are various configurations, but this is the recommended command to update your system in the Arch Wiki. sudo pacman dash s y u. You're going to add Yawert to Pacman, so it's going to be sudo leafpad, and I'm going to open up the file just so you can see what it looks like. So copy and paste that in. So if I copy and paste, it's going to ask for my password, and then it's going to open up leafpad. I'm going to scroll down. Now, you'll want to add this section right here. So you want to copy and paste this section to your file. Now, these entries down here for Infinality Bundle, you won't see those in yours. Um, yours will cut off at Multilib. So you're going to add the Arch Linux FR section right below Multilib. Then before you save the file, uncomment Multilib. Normally these have comments. Okay, so that's how it'll look once you add your Arch Linux FR section. You want to uncomment that. What that does is, if you're running a 64-bit system, it will enable 32-bit libraries. And that's important when you get into gaming and things like that. So you'll want to uncomment your multilib and add your Arch Linux FR and then go ahead and save the file. Okay, so once you do that, then I recommend that you update your system one more time. So you're going to run this sudo pacman dash capital S Y U. That will update your system with the Arch Linux FR. That's the Yaward section. So once you do that, then you can install your wireless drivers. Now your your wireless drivers may have been configured right out of the box. I know my dongle, my Wi-Fi dongle works right out of the box. But my Broadcom wireless doesn't. So uh, this is the point where I usually add my Broadcom wireless. Now you'll need to reboot in, in order for those drivers to kick in. Okay, so once you have your Broadcom wireless installed, uh, then you're going to add the update utility to your system tray. And that's this little star down here in my system tray. Um, my system is up to date, as you can see. If, it need, if there was an update, it would turn red. You want that in your system tray as an indicator that there's an update to be installed. In order to do that, you're just going to run this command right here, yawert-spamac-aur. Then once you log out, log back in, um, you, that will appear in your system tray. If you want to add the downgrade ability, which I usually do because of OpenShot. OpenShot doesn't work in its newest configuration so I always <clears throat> I always um, downgrade OpenShot. Let me show you how that works. Uh, OpenShot right now if I click on that let's see it is the version 2.2.0 it doesn't work <clears throat> well at all. It's jittery. It doesn't process the files properly. So I roll it back. And the re and how I'm going to do that, you're going to, in order to be able to do that, you need to install downgrade through Yawert. And that's a packaged Yawert dash capital S downgrade. And then you had to you have to install XPack sudo pacman s xpack now when once you install those two you'll have the ability to downgrade a package so let me show you what I what I what I mean by that if I type in downgrade open shot it's gonna go in and look at 
it's it tells me that I have locally installed the 2.2 dash dash one package I don't want that one I want the last 1.4 version that was um, working fine before it changed to the two so what I'm going to do is all I have to do is select a package by number so I'm going to select number seven when I type in seven it's going to go ahead and it's going to install that older version of OpenShot and it'll only take a minute or two and then once that's done it's going to give me the option of ignoring any additional upgrades to OpenShot and I'll show you how that uh, how that works it's just about done it's going to finish the install and then it's going to come back with a uh, question asking me and I'm going to need to enter my password it's going to ask me if I want to add OpenShot to my, to my ignore package list I can say yes or no you can see up in the top right it's already telling me that I have an available update and that is OpenShot you see my little update notifier it says I have one available update and it turned red but I'm gonna add it to ignore so it doesn't keep telling me that so I'm gonna say I wanna add OpenShot to my ignore package list and that's done now when I click on the update manager it's gonna tell me my systems up to date because it it, it it already ignored OpenShot and as you can see it turned back to a clear symbol so that's how you use downgrade okay so let's see we are on number 10 now when you finish your install if you click on file manager you won't see any of these documents downloads music pictures public templates videos you won't and you won't see any typically you won't see any of those folders you'll have just your desktop the, the rest of it will be empty when you finish a plain vanilla arch install in order to get those folders to appear you don't have to create them yourself all you have to do is install xdg user directories so you're gonna install sudo pacman dash s xdg dash user dash dirs once you install that and you log back out and log back in those folders will appear the next step would be to install some file utilities file roller p 7 zip zip unzip and unrar copy and paste this command just the way I have it if you want to install your printer I can't tell you specifically how to install your individual printer but there are some steps you would follow first you're gonna install system config printer that's an application a utility and cups you want to make sure those are installed so that's the first command you'll run now system config there it is print settings that's the system config utility that's what you want so system config printer gives you that listing in your menu and then you need cups then you're gonna start your cup service sudo system ctl you're gonna copy and paste start it and enable it then my printer is a brother printer that's the model number so I install the driver through Yawert I install the scan driver through Yawert and then I give the system the IP address of my printer so that it can configure and if I click on print settings you will see my brother printer is configured and it's configured as the default network printer so all users would use the same printer so that's uh, basically how you would set up printing on your system now you'll want to install some multimedia codecs 
and so I've got three I just put them into three commands uh, but you could actually install them all at the same time um, but those are all of the uh, codecs that I normally install when I do a fresh install so that'll give you the the required multimedia codecs for just about anything you'll run then you will install your proprietary video drivers now this is for NVIDIA there are a lot of other packages here that I install because it gives me 32-bit libraries so I will tell you that if you have an NVIDIA card I would install all of these that you see here just copy and paste each line one at a time that will pretty much give you everything you need and there are also some fixes in here for BattleNet. Now BattleNet won't work properly without this lib32-libldap. Uh, BattleNet won't work in Arch without that. Also there, are some, there can be some audio issues with BattleNet and this second line addresses those. So this installs your NVIDIA proprietary uh, drivers and it gives you some utilities that you'll need for um, playing games with your NVIDIA graphics. So those are, I, I install those with the two separate commands right there. And then also you will, do, you will install your audio apps. I usually install Pulse Audio, Pavu Control, Pulse Audio also and also Utils. Now, once I'm done, then my system, and I, and I usually reboot once I finish all this, once I do that, then my system is ready for tweaking. For me, it's the best system that I use because it's built by me. There's nothing in the system that I didn't want there and that I didn't put there. So it's got everything I need and really nothing that I don't need. As you can see, I've got Battle.net, Hearthstone, Steam set up. This will get you your system really up and running and full featured and all utilities that you need uh, to run your system on a daily basis. And then you can just add in the tweaking and the uh, bells and whistles that you want. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for stopping by the channel today. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.